What's up? What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up? It's your guy, with Skinny Boy Randy. Hope you're having a great, warm, blessed, and prosperous day. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, click like and subscribe, you guys. Leave a comment. Share with all your social media. Leave a thumbs up. Thumbs down. Just not a two middle buttons. Okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. Also, check out my Facebook group. That's Gardening with Skinny Boy Randy, where beginners and experts are welcome as well. So, today, you guys, I just want to make a quick video for you. One of my favorite things to eat and grow potatoes. You guys, this is one of the easiest things that you can grow, especially if you are a beginner. These just came out of the refrigerator. Check those bags of potatoes that you've had in the refrigerator for a while, and you'll see these eyes on there. And I'm going to show you how to do it, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Come on. Okay, you guys, when growing potatoes, you can grow them in all types of containers. I've grown them in these large containers. I've grown them in five gallon buckets, and I've had much success. Today, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use this container. Uh-huh. You kind of want to make sure it has depth so the roots can get down and make the tubers, make the potatoes. Okay. And all I've done is put some pebbles at the bottom to help with drainage. And now what I'm gonna do is come up with my soil mixture and y'all know how i do i like to take the old and mix it with the new so i'm gonna just dump this in like this just like so and this has excellent drainage holes you guys i'm gonna take some more of my old potting soil now we don't want to fill it all the way up just yet okay we're going to fill it about a third of the way because we're going to layer. Yeah, you may get a little bit smaller potato, but you'll get a lot more. Okay, so I put about that much in there, just like that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little sand to help with drainage. Okay, and that's our first level. Add a little sand in there. Now, what I'm going to do is take some of my potting soil, the new, and put it in there just like that. So we're about at this point. So now I'm going to take my potatoes, and you want the eyes up. If you have more than one eye on there, you can just pop one of them off. And I'll just leave the two on there just like so. Just pop it down in there, just like that. And these are small, so you can do it. Just put the whole potato in there. So I got two right there, right? More potting mix. So you remember, we had one here, one here. So now we're going to go here and here. Add a little bit more potting mix. There we go. And this is going to give us a maximum yield. Now, like I said, I'm planting these whole, but these I have already cut and let them scab over. So we're going to try those as well. Just put them on in there. You don't let nobody tell you what to do in your garden, y'all. Have fun with it. I'm going to put that one right there. So we're going to have two different varieties. Okay. More soil. More soil. Drop in some of this good old fertilizer mix right on top, and that'll seep in. Just like so. And then you want to water this in extremely well, you guys. Sorry, I thought 
thought I had the water hose over here. It would be all the way back at the house, but that's okay because we got our first set of potatoes planted. And the good thing about planting potatoes in containers is that you can move them around. Say, for instance, you get an unexpected frost, you can move them. Um, also, when you go to harvest, all you have to do is just tip over the bucket and you won't be damaging your potatoes. Say, for instance, if you grew them in your in-ground bed and when you go to harvest them, a lot of times you damage them. So you want to make sure this is in full sun and water it in well. And then you want it all the way down. And you guys, it's just that simple. And you just want to make sure that you keep this watered. If you're having dry spells in your area where you live, water it twice a week or as needed. So I can see the water coming out of the bottom. So that means we got a good saturation going. And now we're just going to sit back and wait on our potatoes. So I'll see you guys soon when things start developing. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget, click like and subscribe. Share with all your social media. I love you guys. If nobody told you they love you today, Skinny Boy Randy loves you. Okay, okay. Remember, live, love, laugh, grow stuff, and eat it.